Sam has possibly told herself so many stories that I don't know if she knows where the truth lies anymore. Henry asks, one thing that has stuck with me since the early episodes is Sam's response, her composure and attitude when talking to Josh about the extremely traumatic and stressful experiences she and her children went through. Have you consulted any experts on psychology or trauma to unpack Sam's attitude? It's like multiple parts to the answer to that. If we don't see somebody breaking down and crying lots when they're talking about something traumatic, we tend to think, oh, what's going on here? This doesn't fit with our our preconceived ideas of how people talk about trauma, right? And I have no doubt in my mind when I covered some of these topics with Sam that she was upset, that she was hurting, that she was indeed traumatised. As we know, she was also at times trying to deceive me. That goes without saying. But I think it's a very difficult and dangerous thing to just judge somebody on the composure that they may have when talking about a traumatic event. I think that everyone processes trauma very differently, of course. And some people might break down, and sometimes the same person can also have very different displays of emotion about the same story at different times to different people in different contexts. And so I think expecting sort of, you know, one person to be over it because they one time recall it calmly, you know, assuming that they must have been lying if they then break down the next time, I think is also problematic. So I think we... You know, there's phases of processing things and um, we all go through our own journey. But I, I think you're absolutely right in terms of interpreting how people present in legal settings or in interviews. There is an expectation which is completely unfounded uh, that people who are traumatized must constantly be crying and despairing. Just to go a little bit further, and I know this kind of leads into more of your understanding of memory and, and the stuff that you do, is that I think after a point, Sam has possibly told herself so many stories that I don't know if she knows where the truth lies anymore. Yeah, so that's a process called source confusion, where also we maybe don't remember anymore if it's something that we actually experienced, something we just imagined, something we were told by somebody else maybe to say. And we can definitely confuse real things that we experienced with things that we only thought about or imagined. And they can turn into false memories or they can become confused, as you said. And so you no longer really know which one is the original and which one is a modification. You might even not have the original anymore. So that's another interesting aspect about memory is that we sort of assume that, you know, with enough perhaps therapy or things, you can go back to some sort of sense of the origin memory. And that's just not the case. Our brains are really flexible and we're constantly overwriting our memories. We're not adding pieces. It's not like a filing cupboard where you have like a, you can go back to the original one. You're, you're actually erasing it basically and writing a whole new one every single time you remember something and changing the physical structure of a memory in the brain. And so that just can get more and more distorted over time and more and more confused with other memories. So you're absolutely right that that is an, a possibility that kept occurring to me as well while you were interviewing Sam is how much does she know at this point? Mm. BBC Sounds. Music, radio, podcasts.